Hello guys, this is Robert from Alpine Scenery Design and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create the necessary mesh tiles to run my new ultra AD mesh based sceneries properly. As my sceneries are in mountainous terrain and I don't edit the mesh itself, I have to fit my objects into one particular mesh. And I chose the Ultra HD mesh from Alpalette X for the most detail, despite being somewhat more FPS heavy. At first we create dimensioned mesh tiles. You need Awful 4 XP, XP tools, the UHD mesh and some unpacking program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. The download links for those are to be found in the video description. At first we have to open up awful 4 xp and click on the globe symbol to open up the selection map. Here we can choose our awful tile coordinates, or in other words the area which we will cover with our mesh and satellite textures. I'll pretend to create a tile for the Ponte the scenery, therefore I need the boats and area. We left click on it and now in the upper left corner we see our tile coordinates plus 46 plus 011. That's important for later. We have to leave this window open and go back to the main window again to select the satellite image provider and detail level. The zoom level provides the resolution for the satellite pictures. I recommend to use 17 or 18. You can also use 16 and make some areas, for example heliports, more detailed with zoom level 17, 18 or 19. As an imagery source, I'd recommend ARC for the South Tyrolean region, as it has the least color deviations and a good saturation. But most importantly, we have to adjust the mesh settings. There are three values that have to be adjusted. My scenery will work without them, but it might be placed wrong. The road level, determining the type of roads which will be flattened, is to be set to the value 4. At next, the road banking limit has to be set to 0.2. That sets the angle of deviation at which the mentioned road type will be flattened. The mesh zoom level is optional and can be changed to 20. The next important value to be changed is the curvature tolerance. It determines how detailed curved landscapes are displayed in the mesh. We will set that to 1.4. As an advice, I would also change the option Use Decals on Terrain to True for sharper textures near the ground. As a next important step, we have to select our mesh source. This is the point where we have to implement the Ultra HD mesh. To do so, we again need our tile coordinates, plus 46, plus 0, 1, 1. We open up our UHD mesh folder and look for the fitting DSF file and extract it. But we can't just use it right away as it's still compressed and in the wrong file format. To solve that, we at first change the name of the DSF file to DSF.7z and agree to change the file format. Then we use either WinRAR or 7-zip to unpack the mentioned file. Now we can see the size difference between the packed and unpacked file. Now to convert this file, we need XP tools, where we will find the xgrinder.exe. Just open it and put the unpacked DSF file into the xgrinder. This may take a minute, so don't worry if nothing happens at first. If the conversion is finished, it will produce three files. A txt file, a txt.elevation.raw and a txt.clevel.raw. The txt.elevation.raw file is the only one we need. This is the one to be selected in Author 4 xp Now we are basically finished with the settings. You can add an overlay source if you wish so, but as I use x I don't have to do that. Now just click apply and go back to the main window. At last, just click on the all-in-one button and Author 4 xp will start to create your tile. When finished, just put the newly created awful tile in your custom scenery folder and pay attention to put it all the way down in your scenery.ini. That was the tutorial. Thank you for watching and have fun flying.